Welcome to Biz. Instacart, the online grocery delivery platform, has experienced great success since its humble beginnings. The company was founded in 2012 by Apuva Meta, a former Amazon employee, and initially operated as a same-day grocery delivery service. Today, Instacart is a household name, serving millions of customers across North America and partnering with over 600 national, regional, and local retailers. Instacart was launched in San Francisco, California, with a small team of just 30 employees. The company's innovative approach allowed customers to order groceries from local stores through the Instacart app or website, and a personal shopper would then pick up and deliver the items. Instacart's popularity grew rapidly by 2014. The service was available in major cities across the United States. The company's success can be attributed to its ability to provide a convenient, and time-saving solution for busy individuals and families. Instacart formed partnerships with major retailers, including Costco, Kroger, and Walmart, further expanding its reach and offering customers a wide selection of products. These partnerships played a crucial role in the company's growth and success as we'll see later. The COVID-19 pandemic significantly accelerated Instacart's growth as people turned to online grocery shopping to minimize their exposure to the virus. The company experienced a surge in demand leading to increased revenue and market share during this time. In October, 2021, Instacart was valued at approximately $39 billion, making it one of the most valuable private companies in the United States. In that same year, Instacart announced its plans to go public through an initial public offering or IPO. The company's strong financial performance and market position made it an attractive investment opportunity for both institutional and retail investors. Instacart faced challenges such as increasing competition from other grocery delivery services and the need to maintain strong relationships with its retail partners. However, the company also had significant opportunities for growth, including expanding its services to new markets, enhancing their technology, and diversifying its offerings. Instacart's success can be attributed to its innovative business model, its strategic partnerships, and their ability to adapt to changing consumer needs. Let's look at some of the company's most notable acquisitions and mergers that helped to strengthen its value proposition and technology. In January of 2018, Instacart acquired Unata, a provider of one-to-one digital solutions for grocers, to create a one-stop shop for brick-and-mortar retailers to effectively compete in the increasingly online world. The acquisition combined Unata's comprehensive white-label digital grocery platform with Instacart's established technology and scale, enabling the future of online grocery shopping for local brick-and-mortar retailers. With this acquisition, Instacart aimed to be an independent partner to retailers and provide them with the best experiences using the best technology. In October of 2021, Instacart acquired Foodstorm, a software as a service order management system that specializes in end-to-end order ahead and catering for grocery retailers. The integration of Foodstorm's technology will enable Instacart to offer comprehensive online catering ordering and delivery experience for both customers and in-store teams. Instacart customers who purchase prepared foods and catering items from the grocery stores are typically more profitable for retailers than traditional groceries like produce and packaged goods. Foodstorm's software as a service offering covers multi-channel ordering, order management, payment, and fulfillment. The technology also integrates with several third-party systems, including point-of-sales systems and offers CRM capabilities to help grocers collect feedback and leverage promotional features. The company was founded 14 years ago and had already formed partnerships with some of Instacart's existing retail partners. 
Another acquisition in October of 2021 for Instacart was Caper AI, a startup that develops smart cart and cashier list checkout technology using computer vision. The acquisition is aimed to provide products and services for physical stores to offer new services to their customers. The company is paid approximately $350 million for Caper AI in the combination of cash and shares. The company planned to integrate Caper's technology into its existing app, allowing users to automatically ring up items once they are in the stores. In September of 2022, Instacart announced its acquisition of Eversight, an AI-powered pricing and promotions platform for consumer packaged good brands and retailers. The company's technology allows retailers and CPG brands to continuously test customized pricing and promotions directly with their individual customers, providing real-time and custom insight into the promotions that best resonate with customers and impact their purchasing decisions. The acquisition of Eversight will give retailers and CPG brands access to new individualized and customized pricing tools, along with dynamic insights about customer behavior to improve sales, growth, and customer experiences. The company aim is to unlock better promotions and pricing for customers while transforming pricing and promotion strategies to its partners. In September of 2022, Instacart announced its acquisition of Rosie, an e-commerce platform for local and independent retailers and wholesalers. Rosie offers independent grocers branded e-commerce websites and mobile app capabilities that power order flow, fulfillment, and customer insights. This will give retailers access to the solutions behind Instacart's consumer marketplace, helping them to enhance customer experience and grow their businesses. The addition of Rosie's offering to the Instacart platform will give retailers more access to tools that help them grow their businesses and engage with their customers. Rosie customers will also have the opportunity to utilize Instacart's in-store offerings, the Instacart Shopper Network, to support new pickings and fulfillment options, loyalty programs to increase customer engagement and affordability, and much more technology as Instacart continues to enhance their platform. As you can see with the different acquisitions and mergers we just went through, Instacart really places a value on its technology and its platform. Not only for customers with the ease of ordering your groceries online and having someone else to go shop and deliver your products, but more so on the technology platform for the retailers and the stores that decide to sign up to Instacart's platform. So they're really investing in the back end and how it will help the retailers in the stores really have a leg up in their local communities by using Instacart solution. Instacart completed its initial public offering or IPO on September 19, 2023. The IPO was priced at $30 per share, and the company sold 22 million shares, raising $660 million, giving it an initial valuation of around $10 billion. This valuation was significantly lower than its $39 billion valuation during the pandemic. The company had originally filed with the SEC to go public on May 11, 2021, but the listing was continuously delayed due to market volatility. Instacart's revenue was up 31% to $1.47 billion in the first six months of 2023, largely due to its increases in its advertisement fees that it collects from the retailers and food companies. The company reported a net income of $242 million in the same period. One of the notable aspects of Instacart's IPO was the departure of its former CEO and founder, Apuva Mehta. He had been with the company since its founding in 2012, but stepped down from his role as CEO in 2021, when ex-Facebook executive Fiji Seymour was appointed as his successor. Approver then announced his departure from the company in July 2022. He sold a small portion of his shares in the IPO and then resigned from the board. The reason for his departure was his desire to pursue a new mission with a singular focus 
which he realized after stepping back from the day-to-day -day responsibilities at Instacart. In conclusion, let's look at Instacart's market share and how it's compared to other grocery delivery services. Here's a comparison. Instacart currently has 40% market share in the US online grocery industry, while Walmart has 32% market share and Amazon has 20% market share. Other competitors include regional players and niche services, one of them being Target, which owns SHIP. They also have a share of the market. SHIP also operates somewhat similar to Instacart, where they provide delivery services from various retailers, not only Target. So while Instacart's market share has been growing steadily, it is expected to face increasing competition from other players in the market, which is why Instacart place such investments in their technology platform. On the last check, Instacart provided delivery and pickup services from 85% of the United States grocers using a network of more than 700,000 freelance shoppers. It also has 7.7 .7 million active customers who spend about $317 per month on the platform. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Business Pitfalls and Profits. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss our next one. And most importantly, like it, share it with your fellow entrepreneur advocates. And until next time, stay curious and keep thriving.